I'm a big body. I also have feet as if I was a little body. I'm a pretty strong kid. Also being strong, I'm very fast. Play DB, corner, safety, whatever you need me to play. The one thing that I would definitely want coaches to know about me is that you know I'm a hard worker. I'm a work every day. I'm a work even days that you're not telling me to work. I'm still gonna be working. Daryl's the type of player that he has a lot of potential because of his work ethic. He's a guy that's very coachable, listens to whatever he is told, and uses that to his advantage. If you want to get somewhere, I mean, you got to put work ethic in. You got everything you do. You got to put work ethic, and that's definitely what I want a coach to know about me. That I'm definitely down to do whatever you need me to do, and I'm gonna do that much more. I was at Boise State. As the course of me going to Boise State, my mother had got terribly ill. They did not know if I was going to make it. And at that time, he was like, I'm not going back. You have this opportunity. You need to continue with this opportunity. But he said no, that I was more important than football or school at that time. Coaches didn't want me to leave, but I mean, I stuck it out for a while. And I know as the time went by, she started getting sicker and sicker. He chose to finish out his spring semester and then come back home. And at that time, he started going to Mount Sac because I would not let him stop going to school totally. Went down to Mount Sac, talked to the coaches. You know, they like me, and I have to give big ups to them because they run their program uh, to a T to where, you know, they try to run it like a four year. April 5th of this year, um, I got into a really bad car accident. Um, and I mean, that changed my life completely. The car was forced into a tree. So at that moment, before we got word of it, they, uh, the police had got there and because of the damage to the car, they assumed that some trauma had happened to him. I had to get airlifted to a hospital. I mean, I couldn't move, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was just sitting in a hospital bed for, for a whole week, not being able to walk, couldn't stand up on my own two feet, couldn't bathe myself. I mean, definitely changed my whole life. In his mind, he kept saying, I want to play football. I hope this doesn't destroy my career. This is my dream. This is my destiny. This is what I'm going to do. They tried to give him a wheelchair. He wouldn't accept the wheelchair. He told him, no, you give me a walker and I'll learn how to walk. Ever since my accident, it's totally different. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to run. I'm trying to do this because it was at a time and point. It was a few months back where I couldn't do it at all. I couldn't get up, I couldn't backpedal, I couldn't run. Like I said, I couldn't even walk. So now it's like every day, I mean, I'm going at it 110%. Not only was he out of shape, he was in full recovery mode from his accident. He didn't have a lot of the motor skills, uh, footwork, and quickness. Over time, we developed that, got him stronger, got him more explosive. His quickness and footwork is definitely more on point. From what I've seen on his film, he looks better now, he looks quicker more explosive now than he was when he was actually playing over at Mount Set. Dealing with Coach Allen, I mean, he's just, he's definitely been a huge help for me, just getting me back to where I was, and then now making me even better than what I was before. When I get out there on that field, ain't no shadow of a doubt, I have no fear of nothing, nobody or no nothing, because I know I've been working day in and day out.